Hey guys, it's Zunim from Oak Animus Gaming. Um, just bringing you an update. Uh, the patch has gone live uh, in Palea. There's been all kinds of issues with it. This is uh, patch 0 0.168, uh, September 12, 2023, for those of you watching this in the future. This is still in beta. Um, I did manage to get some crops. I, g I got some seeds and I planted some crops and the corn is ready to harvest. I've done a test on some of the foods to see which produces more glowworms or more worms and more fertilizer. Um, they are in my Twitch. I will be uploading them to my YouTube as well. Uh, so if you watch the playthroughs on the patch, you'll see uh, the titles. It'll just be patch 1.68 or point one six eight um, part one, part two, part three, whatever. It they're long playthroughs. There's like five hours of video so far. <laughs> uh, I may go through and edit some out and um, make some video out of it, but. Uh, there's already people doing that um, with really good editing software and stuff so I'm probably not gonna fight over video space for that kind of stuff but I will show you uh, I'm gonna harvest my stuff and I did try to boost it I do have this is the uh, the hot pepper uh, this one here it grows in a two by two space just like uh, blueberries uh, but the corn is just, it seems, came up pretty quick. Um, so we're going to harvest that now and see what we get. Uh, we're getting some star food, which is awesome. I can uh, make some star seed out of that and get some good crop going. I'm just kind of emptying out my garden right now because I do want to redo it. I've been just going nuts with apples as you can see and uh, it's time for change I just did a long straight um, I don't know how many that is nine squares yeah it's nine squares of three by three uh, and this this patch really screwed up the gardens as you can see that's what it's supposed to look like but it looks like this with the grass coming through and it really makes it hard to see the uh, I'm trying to water here trying it makes it hard to see the, the weeds and stuff and whether or not it's fertilized like you can see the fertilizer here but you know when you're looking at it from a distance you don't really see any of the fertilizer until you get close so you don't know what ne needs to be fertilized, what doesn't, um, where the weeds are. And some of these, like these trees, sometimes it's hard to see when it's right on the bottom of the trunk. Um, just in normal. So with the weeds or the grass coming through like that, it makes it near impossible. You really got to be paying attention. Because you miss that, and basically that's a day or two or three or however many days you miss. Like, look at this. That's a weed right there. I didn't even see that. <coughs> um, so you miss that crop growing during that time. These almost look, they look, look like they're done, but I can't harvest them. Anyway, uh, I can't wait till this is all empty. Then I can redo it all. Let's uh, take a look and see what we got out of those crops. Not a whole ton. Not too impressed with the yield, considering I just farmed like two, four, six, eight, probably 12, 10 or 12. And that's what I got just over 20 so maybe two to three crops per anyway I got 17 
star corn so we're gonna throw that into one of these if we can tell you what we'll take those out and we'll throw those in there and what do we get out of those so one makes two so that's decent but 60 gold for one star crop and 40 for a normal better to just sell it like that I mean I do want to take one of those out I'll show you why uh, we're gonna take that out we need some gold because I had to spend I spent like 20k gold just buying all the um, crops and the recipes and stuff for the new patch like I went and bought a bunch of crops just so that I could make the new recipes the food recipes and test them in the the hoppers uh, to make worms the worm hoppers um, and I bought some seed I bought some of the hot pepper seeds and I bought some of the corn seeds which you can buy from Zeki's and I can't remember if I got the I, th I got the corn from Bad Ruse, I believe just the uh, regular corn the produce where is it these I mean I got probably have some in here still yeah right there there's 10 left so we'll put those in there I want to take one nah yeah I want to take one out we're gonna test this now we're gonna test these in the the jelliers so we're gonna put one in each so the star is going to make Okay, so you get 60 gold for that. Uh, so put one of these in, you get 40 gold. It's 40 gold for one of these, 60 gold for a normal. And we'll see what the uh, starred version is of it when it comes out. So, I mean, these, they go from... 68 gold to 102 gold so I'm I'm assuming those are gonna go to probably 95 to 100 gold the starred version which is decent like I mean it's a good crop to throw in here besides potatoes you know and make a little bit of gold out of it because all my potato jam, I, I just chuck it right in here. It's gone. It's going to be sold. Uh, but I better put those apples in before I forget. There's a little bit of lag going on there. And I'm going to throw these in here. Definitely going to throw these in here. I had... 10 apples I think 10 of the regular ones so I decided I'm going to chuck them in the cedar and see what I get probably should have turned them into like pie or something and threw them in the glow worm uh, I'm going to put those away for making some of the recipes oh, excuse me allergies Okay, so what do I have for fish? I could make... I think what I'm going to do is... I could just save this stuff for recipes. Because that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make... I'm going to make this. Uh, what is it? I think this is just fish tacos. Yeah. These are really cheap to make sorry and they produce quite a bit like comparatively like 11 11 of the harvest boost and two worms it's only two worms but you know 
compared to Shep's pie, which is really expensive to make, you get 20 and 4, and the other one you get 11 and 2. So we'll go in and see the Shep's pie and compare. I've already done this. So the Shep's pie, I mean, look at all the resources. You have to go buy those to buy the butter. You have to go and farm all this other stuff. You actually have to grow these three and you have to go hunting and go pick sp spices now the fish what is it fish tacos you need spices fish and corn the corn you're gonna grow I got a bunch of that already and the fish are easy to get you can just fish them out of your pond and the spices you need to just go buy them or go pick them you know and I think I'm just gonna go buy a bunch I got 13 fish already and 14 of those so I'll get one more fish and um, I don't think I have any extra corn I might I might go get one buy one more corn and just go buy a bunch of spice sprouts so I'll buy 15 and I'll come back and and uh, we'll cook up some of those and throw them in there. Uh, I'll do that on another video. Anyway, I just want to do a quick update. So let's uh, kill this. And yeah, I hope they do a patch quick. There's the Plume Hound Pilgrimage, which is the new quest line to open the new fire area and you can't do it right now because you can't do the flowstone near the exit there isn't one it's not there yet they s the devs have put a thing in there saying that people have found it some people have seen it and it sporadically pops up but it doesn't and so far with a few hours of research on google and it the patch has only been out about six hours now and i've taken about half of that time researching trying to find out if anybody has gotten that at all there's not one post on their discord not one post in any discord that i know of for paleo there's not one youtube video not one twitch that's found it yet and there's nothing on google um, it shows about the quest but every like I've seen YouTube videos, people doing this quest, and they get to the point where they're looking for the flowstone near the exit, and they can't find it, so they kill their video. Uh, so it's just not there. Uh, the devs may be saying that it sporadically shows up, but it does not. It doesn't show up. It isn't there. Uh, I hope they do a hot fix soon. They say it's supposed to be coming this week. Uh, I would expect them to do a little more than this week like today maybe um, people are excited about this patch and if you're gonna take your time doing that and it, it's just you're gonna lose players they're gonna get uninterested in it it's gonna be one of those things like Blizzard released Diablo 2 resurrected and the new ladder was supposed to come out right away it took them eight months before they put that new ladder out like that's the kind of dedication they got to their games now so uh, I'm done playing Blizzard games um, but that's <laughs> a whole nother rant but just for example um, this is a brand new game and these wait times for brand new games they can't be a week long they gotta be th that day you know if you're putting out a patch you need to test that patch I know this is beta and we are testing it but they need to test the patch on their end for a week before they actually release it you know to make sure it's actually running they need to make a mock server so that they can test this stuff uh, they just can't just plop it out and hope it runs you know uh, I mean I'm sure they've done their testing but obviously not thorough enough because there's so much wrong with this patch it just burnt this game it just broke it it's it's busted 
in so many ways it's busted um so hopefully they fix it sooner than later and not too many players you know quit the game over it because you know i think it's a good game i mean it's a sims farm game but it's not too bad i mean they could take this places if they really wanted to anyway um so that's it i got some corn i got some stuff going done some testing uh so far what i see this this fish taco is the way i'm gonna go with it uh and stuff and throw those in there it's cheap to make easy to get the stuff i can just throw a big farm of corn in farm it all up and or just go buy it it's not that expensive um but either way like I, i'll farm it like i'll i'll just grow it in my garden i'm not going to go buy it it's kind of waste it's kind of a you know the point the point is just to as little cost as possible <laughs> making this stuff you know to, and and growing it would be the easiest now that i got the seed started so once the seed started i'll empty this out plop it down grow as much as i can and pump out as much fish stuff as i can so that i can uh yeah do the cycle over and over again i really hope they bring out more soil plots because nine is not enough you know they they need 30 would be nice you know or what can we go into divisibles by nine 36 what's that six by six so we did six plots by six plots that would be six plus times three 18 that's a lot you could grow a lot of stuff if they did a six by six instead of a three by three just double the size so you get a hundred and what 82 I'm imagining uh, no more than that because you're doubling so that's four times that 364 should be about I gotta do the math on that real quick so six times three no so if it's six long that'll be 18 times 18 324 is that right three times six no yeah three times six is 18 I thought it'd be more three times six is 18 times 18 18 by 18 324 as opposed to 91 that we have now and we just popped again so we're gonna pull uh, stuff out of the garden make some more gold um, but you can see how the grass kind of covers the weed getting closer to empty in this garden Gardening's loud, level 19. Sweet. And then with that, we will end this. All right. Y'all take care. Have a great day. And bye for now.